how to set up a culture of tetra sandwich chewing. Cheers. Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea. So in today's video I'm going to be talking all things algae. So before I dive into a video all about setting up the culture of tetra sandwich chewy, I thought I would start off by telling you a little bit about what algae are. Because although you may be familiar with the term, you may not actually understand what algae are. So let's dive right in. What are algae? Algae are not plants, even though plants also photosynthesise. Algae, and the singular alga, is a capsule term for a group of diverse organisms. There is cyanobacteria, microalgae and macroalgae. So blue-green algae, also known as cyanos or cyanobacteria, are single-celled, simple-celled organisms. Then you have microalgae, which are single-celled but internally complex. And then you have macroalgae, also known as seaweeds. So the fundamental difference between algae and plants are that algae do not produce flowers, berries, seeds or scents. Tetracelmus are unicellular flagellates with elliptical, almost spherical, slightly flattened cells with an invagination at the anterior end from which arrive four equal flagella in two opposite pairs. So what this means is that they are a single-celled organism that have flagella. A flagellum, the singular, is a hair-like structure capable of whip-like lashing movements that allow locomotion. Uses for Tetracelmus. So Tetracelmus is a green microalgae that is simple and easy to culture and it is used as a food in aquaculture for things such as bivalve oysters and planktonic shellfish. So here is everything I need to set up the culture. I've got instant ocean reef salt, I've got some weighing scales, I have the phytoplankton nutrient, I've got a culture jar, you can use anything for this really as long as it's clean, I've got a jug, I have the algae, a pipette for getting the algae into the culture jar, and of course, I have a cup of tea. Cheers. So first thing we need to do is make up the culture medium, which I'm going to be doing in this jug. because so I'm going to be using the same culture medium for four different types of algae, as you will see in later videos. I'm going to make up 500 ml of it. Um, we only need a small amount for the culture jar. It's best to start off with a small culture and then increase adding more culture medium as you go along rather than start off with a very large culture from such a small amount of algae. This way as it grows you can increase in size like you would with fish, you can as they get bigger you can move them to a bigger tank, it's the same with algae. So we need the water to be salt water which is why we're using the instant ocean reef salt. So what I'm going to do is just weigh some out. So you need 33 grams to make a litre, so it's 16 and a half grams we're going to use to make 500 ml which will be ocean salinity. So you can use something to test the salinity which I do have but since I'm doing this simple with no tech we're not going to use that, we're just going to make sure we follow the instructions. So weighing scales, I'm going to put the jug on them zero those if they want to zero for me there we go so we want 16 and a half grams so I've got the tub of ocean salt and I've just got a little container that I'm going to use and that's already too much that's 25 so we're going to take some of that out that's 14 16 there we go Oops. so there we go there's not a lot in there at all but now we're going to do is top it up to the 500 ml mark with RO water which is reverse osmosis water which is a type of distilled water so basically the water has no impurities in it it is just a blank canvas so I'm going to go ahead and fill this up now so I have filled this up to the 500 ml mark I'm just going to use my pipette just to give it a little bit of a stir just to help some of that salt dissolve. It may take a little while for the salt to dissolve so we're just going to leave that to dissolve. If you want RO water to use at home which is the best type of water for doing anything like this you can get it from your local aquatic store. They sell RO DI water which is um, reverse osmosis distilled water 
which you can get cheaply and easily enough. You can also get it at very various places on the internet. So that salt is seeming to dissolve there. So we're going to go ahead and set up the culture. So this is my culture flask here, which is from Algae Research Supply in the US, which is where I got my culture from. So today we're going to be culturing Tetracelmus chewy. You can see that. Tetracelmus. So what I'm going to do is open the culture flask, pop this open and just take a pipette. to get all of the algae in. In my last video, I did just um, shake it out. However, that can actually harm the algae and the bacteria in there. So it's best to do it this way. So that's all out of there now, that's empty. And you can see the algae is in the bottom. So I'm going to add some growth nutrient, which is here, which is kept in the fridge. So this is optional, you can choose not to add this. Um, however, I find it's a really good start, it's a really good boost. It's like fertiliser for your garden, it does really well for it. So this is 3 mil per 2 litres. And we've only got a tiny bit. And I know on your first dose you can add 6 mil. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add 1 mil, which is a little bit more than you're supposed to, but it's a nice... Nice boost for it to start growing. There we go. And that is a dedicated syringe I keep with that. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and add the culture medium. I'm just going to pour that. Pour that in and pop the lid on. So that, although it looks very, very clear at the moment, that is the Tetracelmus. So as it grows, it will darken in colour, like with the spirulina and the chlorella. It looks very pale at the moment, but as it grows, the density will increase and it will darken in colour. So I'm going to go ahead and make a label for this. This wants to be around 25 degrees. Um, so I'm going to put it on my heat map with my sea monkeys. And you want dim light to bright light and it's going to be in a place where it does get some natural light um, but it's not overly bright light so it's going to be in sort of natural sunlight conditions so there we go that is my tetracelmus culture nice and simple and easy to do so today's ocean fact the longest mountain range above water is the andes which is 4300 miles along but the actual longest mountain chain on Earth is the Mid-Oceanic Ridge, which is 40,390 miles long and snakes between all continents. And I have an additional algae fact for you today. So if you swallow a single drop of seawater, you will swallow thousands of microscopic algae. There are more algae in the oceans than there are stars in the universe. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I know I certainly have. I hope you've learned something new about Tetracelmus and have enjoyed the video. If you have, Please remember to hit a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. If you've got any other algae you want me to cover, let me know down below. As I did mention earlier, this is a series, so I do have a few other algae that I will be culturing, but I will add to this series. So I hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope you are looking forward to the next one. Until then, bye-bye for now.